AI could replace 300 million jobs in the next few years. While listening to me, I am a computer scientist who has worked for the top technology firms in the world. If watching the Hollywood writers being replaced by AI isn't alarming enough for you, then I think you need to wake up and smell the coffee because this AI train is coming and it's coming fast. AI is already self-driving cars. Soon it will self-drive your trains and then it will self-drive the planes. Sounds scary. Wait, the person you're listening to is not real? Am I real? Am I the real one? Well, it doesn't matter. How did I do that? I'll show you towards the end. There is a reason why you see Sam Altman testifying in front of Congress. Our government is concerned and they have every reason to. Wait till 2024 elections and you will understand what I'm talking about. So today I'll share with you the professions which are on the brink of extinction. Industries exposed to automation through AI. The unintended consequences of AI. How proactively can you protect your job? I will show you how to educate yourself through actionable tips on AI. Let's quickly define what AI is and why is it so important for a society. AI is a simulation of human intelligence, from the most basic repetitive tasks to more complex to even some creative tasks. Large language models like LLM can mimic human intelligence. AI operates on machine learning. For example, you give me input and I'm going to search my database, neural networks and create something for you. In essence, AI is classification of data. Not only that, AI can profile you, it can monitor your patterns patterns, your behaviors, your strengths, your weaknesses, and your habits. AI can learn, but AI can also reason based on the rules embedded in it. For example, AI has recently passed the US medical licensing exam. Not only that, it also beat the law grads on a bar exam. AI can, for example, read a thousand books in a minute and remember it forever, which we simply cannot do. AI may even know that you're pregnant before you even know it because it can do pattern recognition on your body chemistry, biology, and physiology. So right about now you're thinking, but AI cannot do creative things, right? Well, to answer that, let me play a clip from this movie called I, Robot. Robots don't feel fear. They don't get hungry. They don't sleep. I do. Can a robot write a symphony? Can a robot turn a canvas into a beautiful masterpiece? Can you? So AI can also do creative tasks such as writing a song, drawing a painting, or even producing an album. The fact that AI can pass a US medical exam is significant because it proves that AI can learn faster and quicker than a human being, be more accurate than a human, and remember longer than we can ever imagine. Therefore, the greatest challenge is not AI, but how to upskill to keep up with AI, if that makes sense. As companies invest billions of dollars to automate through AI, here are the following industries and examples which are expected to change or replace jobs. Please note AI will not replace humans, but it will replace the humans who do not learn AI. Number one is the easiest one we've already seen it, self-driving cars. So cab drivers will be affected by AI because AI can now self-drive itself. Let's watch a recent clip to see the power of AI. And I even have a place to charge my phone. All right, to start the ride, here we go. Heading to Ben and Jerry's. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, oh my press gosh. the call support button to speak with Next up is data entry. The repetitive tasks that humans are doing and causing errors in a database can be taken over by AI completely. AI can enter data more accurately. It can also make data-driven decisions and help the company succeed faster. Next up is clerical work, proofreading, writing, signing, taking phone calls. All these tasks will be replaced by AI. For example, even today if you call AT&T or T-Mobile, there's an AI engine that's trying to answer some of your basic questions. But in future, you can have a full-blown conversation one-on-one -on -one, just like with a person through AI. Don't believe me? Let's watch this clip from Sundar Pichai. Is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon? So how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we have a 10 o'clock. Next up is medical jobs and tasks, tasks that doctors perform to, for example, look for the history of a patient or do diagnosis on their treatment can also be taken over by AI. Doctors and surgeons will heavily rely on AI. In fact, I think that due to the fear of malpractice lawsuits, many of the insurance companies may mandate the use of AI to help with accuracy of data. Human resources and HR jobs will also be impacted by AI. Why? How many times do you get a resume? That doesn't meet your job requirements. With AI, you will not have that problem. AI can scan through OCR recognition your entire resume and look for keywords specific to the job requirement. 
communicators and translators will also be out of business. Why? Because AI can now, to date, speak over 100 languages fluently and translate. Next up is accounting jobs, bookkeeping, expenses, filing your taxes. All those mundane tasks that we do and stress over could be taken easily over by AI. Teller, banks, and clerical work can also be outsourced to AI. Front desk job for answering questions. Imagine AI can answer many, many questions for multiple customers and do it with a smile. Designer jobs. Designers who build furniture, digital arts can also be outperformed by AI. Lastly, here's a list of all the industries that are exposed to automation through AI. Folks, generative AI can replicate human voice, text, create graphical images from inputs, replicate a person, transform your identity. If you haven't heard of deep fake, let me show you a clip that will startle you. I'm going to show you some magic. Hundreds of millions of people spent over billion minutes absorbing it. The face swap with uh, Tom Cruise. You haven't seen it? No. You got to see this. Incredible. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. Now that sounds concerning, I know, and that's why we're doing this. There was a perception that AI will replace all the blue collar jobs, but I think what we're finding out is quite the opposite. Let's have a listen to Sam Altman, who is the CEO of OpenAI. If you asked people 10 years ago about how AI was going to have an impact with a lot of confidence from almost most people, first it's going to come for the blue collar jobs, then it will come for the kind of like the low skill white collar jobs, then the very high skill like a programmer or whatever, and then very last of all, and maybe never, it, it's going to take the creative jobs. The, and is going exactly the other direction. Is, and, the goal of any business is to achieve efficiency, precision, and speed. Therefore, a lot of businesses are investing billions of dollars in upskilling their workers to keep up with AI. So let's talk about the unintended consequences of AI. There could be some major unintended consequences of AI. For example, you can ask AI to solve a math problem and it may give you a wrong answer. If you're a company using AI for data-driven decisions, it can lead you down the wrong path, a term called hallucination in the AI world. So human supervision and error checking is critical. There have been many lawsuits from Getty Images and GitHub for programmers whose code was used by AI without their permission and they were not given the royalty. Imagine one third of the world does not even have internet. They don't even know what AI is. When elections happen, for example, next year, you will see a lot of fake videos, fake personas, fake voice messages, all created through generative AI. People who are older in age not willing to learn will be severely impacted by AI, such as older doctors, nurses, and lawyers. So despite of all these things, there are some crucial benefits to AI. AI I can accelerate our progress as human race by solving complex large problems, which could take us decades to solve, such as cure for cancer, cure for COVID, cure for diabetes and Alzheimer's, and so on and so forth. It can predict things before they happen, such as a heart attack, a stroke, a miscarriage, a future diabetic patient, and so on. AI bots can take up to 60,000 words as input at one time, which is insane. Please note that the jobs that have unpredictability or dexterity will not be immediately affected by AI, such as plumbing, electrical work, and many other jobs. And once again, AI will not replace humans, but it will replace humans who do not want to learn AI. So with all that going on, how do we stay ahead of AI? And I have some really practical tips for you. Humans are heuristic animals, which learn from principle-based analysis. So I would read as much as possible about AI through the internet and the wonderful books you see on Amazon and Audible. You can also take some professional education courses, such as this one in AI from MIT. It's important what to do, but also important what not to do. I would refrain from watching YouTube videos from non-credible resources. YouTubers are making videos on AI, but they don't have any computer science background. If you're a software developer, I would highly recommend learning Python language and machine learning. If you're a project manager or a business analyst, I would highly recommend taking courses such as AI automation for Jira and other project management tools. Read as much as you can about machine learning and deep learning. Here are some useful books and links that I'm going to put in my video below. There is also a wonderful Y Combinator newsletter that comes out weekly. You can also read that to keep up with AI. Bottom line is whatever field you work in, there's always an aspect of AI that's up and coming. Find that aspect, learn from it, upskill yourself, and I promise you'll be a great prospect for any company out there. Whether AI is great for human race or not, I'll leave that up to you. And I'm going to leave you with a clip of a movie in which a girl who just lost her parents meets a robot and they become friends. The kid from ever feeling lonely or sad. This is Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Megan.